Welcome back once again. In this part, we will complete our application and we will add our logout functionality. So inside our main activity, we have our login functionality and in here we need to add our so first we need to add a if condition so so that we don't need to log in every time so if amoth dot get current user not equal to null that means user already registered inside in our application so and this app and these apps is installed in user device so they don't need to log in each and every time when they will open their application so and when they will open this application and they will directly redirect to this home activity so just at start activity intent get application context and our home activity name all right now we need to add a drawable menu resource file so res and the resource file and we can call it main menu and select resource type menu and okay now we need to add our menu item so we can call it so add item id logout android title we can call it logout and we need to add the icon here so we need to add the icon so go to this image asset folder And add action bar and tab icon and change it name we can call it logout and go to this click part and we can we need to choose our logout icon which one we can choose we can which one we can select thing we can select this icon or scroll up scroll up or thing where is the icon So where is the logout logout icon? Not find out it. Or we need to choose any of this icon, I think. And okay, we can choose this icon. And change it to hollow dark. And finish. And in here we need to add our icon. And in here we need to add our icon. So icon, and we can call. We can choose drawable logout. And now we need to add show as always show as action always. Now this icon. All right. Now go to this main activity. Now. Inside our home activity, we need to add this one. So we need to add our on create option menu. So add on create option menu. On create. On create option menu. And in here, we need to connect our layout menu. So we need to write get menu inflator we need to write it here before this return so get menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu dot main menu and second parameter is menu and we need to add on option item selected menu so on option item selected and in here we need to add Swiss case so Swiss item dot get item ID 
and case r dot id dot and we can choose our id name that is a logout and in here first we need to add our firebase auth so private firebase auth is going to be m auth Now this mod is equal to Firebase auth dot get instance. So that now this mod dot sign out and we need to add intent. So after logout we will re we will redirect them to login activity that is our main activity. So start activity new intent get application context main activity dot class and now we need to add our break statement. All right, so I think all functionality done. Now hit this run button. Our application almost complete. Now we can see we are now in home activity directly, and we can also see a logout button. If we click see all job post, we will see our all job post here. We can see all job post our title date description salary skills and if we click any of this item and we are now in job details activity okay and if we go to this post a job activity we will see only only my own job post from this user but rest of job post was from other user I, I posted from other account I posted a different account and I posted this job post so that's why in here we can see uh, more than two job posts we can see node chase and your job post and many other so hopefully you learn how can we develop a job portal application now if we click this logout button and we can see we are now in login activity so our logout is working now we can again log in i can call it edge it edge it at the rate gmail.com so edge it at the rate gmail.com And add password and now click this login button so now we are in our home activity so i think our all functionality done so and our application is almost complete all functionality done perfectly so we can log in, we can registration and we can insert our job post, we can retrieve our data. So all this functionality is complete and this is our registration activity. Okay. And we, if, and we can also move to login activity. So all this stuff is done. So I hope you enjoy this course.